Hi Virgo and welcome to your November 2018 Spirit Guide Messages Tarot Reading. Let's see what your Spirit Guides would like you to focus on the most in the month of November to help you overcome challenges, to help you achieve your manifestations, to help you spiritually grow. Just whatever it is you're going through or personally need advice on Virgo. So let's see what they say. All right, Qu question the real intention. Jealousy destroys all relationships. Selfishness and ego lead to hatred. Recognize those who intend harm before it happens. Protect yourself by concealing your plans. Remain low-key. So, Virgo, with this coming out, not everybody in your circle may have your best interest, okay? And this could be friends, family, lover, you know, it's just co-workers, it's just different for all of you, but this is saying, you know, really question people in the month of November, um, if they're trying to borrow some money or ask you for a favor and they're offering you something in return down the road, chances are you're probably not going to receive it, so if you can't afford to lend them that money or um, it's really inconvenient for you to give them the favor they're asking for, you might want to think twice and maybe not do it because chances are they're not going to come through like they're saying they will for you. Um, others of you, this could be where somebody is being nice in your face but not so nice behind your back, okay? But again, you will have a sense of where this is playing out. So let's pull more cards and add to this Virgo. Somebody just may have an ulterior motive. Keep that in mind. All right, so we have the Nine of Cups. We have the Initiate of Wands. We have the Nine of Pentacles. And we have the Justice card. So, Virgo, um, we do have some fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, or a potential Libra. Now, what I see here, Virgo, is um, if there's any sort of uh, like big blessing or great abundance that comes your way in November, there may be people who are trying to be your friend or trying to hang around and be connected with you for what you have, okay? With the Nine of Cups and the uh, Nine of Pentacles, that's a very positive energy, okay? So it's like, if it's too good to be true, Virgo, it is. It's too good to be true. Like, don't trust it. If somebody's offering you the sun, moon, and stars, they can't provide you anything, okay? It's like a facade. They're faking it. It's not real. But you will have like a sense of that, Virgo. You will definitely have a sense of that. Um, also, you know, whatever you're doing, whatever your plans are, you might want to kind of be much more to yourself about it and not share it, especially if you're doing anything that you don't want certain people to know about or people to know about in general. You know, um, you really don't talk about it. Don't tell anybody about it because, again, with this card being what you should focus on, somebody might not truly have your best interest. And as soon as you tell them your business, they're going behind your back and sharing it with other people and gossiping about you and saying certain things, okay? Others of you, again, any sort of blessing or great material abundance that you have or that comes your way in November you might want to be a bit more selfish because I'm not so sure that, um, you know, they're there for the right reasons. And also, because we have question, real intention, and we have the justice card here, you know, just really watch what you say and what you do in November because there may be somebody out there who's just looking for a lawsuit or looking for a fight or looking for you to slip up somehow, some way. And Virgo, just don't. Don't even get involved. Like, stay low-key. Don't talk about your business. Don't be 
po posting up where you're eating or what your plans are on Facebook. Like, um, basically, if, you know, somebody's like, hey, Virgo, let's hang out. And you're like, oh, no, I'm just going to stay in tonight. I'm not feeling good. Don't, like, three hours later be posting that you're out, you know, at the bar having your fifth shot on Facebook. Because, um the person that you avoided or didn't hang out with is going to see that. So it was like whatever you got going on, Virgo, keep it low key. Um, if there's any sort of abundance or money or a, just excess of abundance of something that comes your way, you might be really excited to share, as, you know, to tell people, oh my God, look at this is what's happened. I, I won this money or I got a promotion or I got a bonus or this happened or that happened. And, you know, you're excited to talk about it. But again, not everybody wants to hear it because they're excited for you, Virgo. It's all about what's in it for them. So um, really be mindful of that in dealing with people because you'll feel it intuitively you'll feel like something's a bit off you know in their behavior in their energy and what they're saying and what they're doing so you know just be mindful of that now because this is general if there is anybody in your life Virgo where you are only really maintaining a relationship or trying to keep close ties because you want something that they have the universe is saying, like, don't do that because it's not going to work out the way that you anticipate. Um, you know, this could go either way. So if somebody's coming at you and they're not being real and true, you know, your spirit guides are going to make you very well aware of it. Now, if you reverse that and you were going at somebody not with the best intentions, um, just, you know, trying to get something that you want, their spirit guides are going to protect them. So I don't really feel like that's the case. Like you guys are, you know, trying to take advantage of somebody. But because it's general, I put it out there. Ultimately, Virgo, really trust your intuition. Um, good things that happen, only tell like a certain trusted person that you know, like you know you could trust. And you're isn't jealous, isn't going to gossip, isn't going to, you know, be stupid about things and anybody who's just coming at you all crazy trying to be like you know gossip and stuff Virgo you just like I said you be strong and you and I feel like it will blow up in their face so let's see who your guides say you should focus on being in the month of November the magician I am a master manifester yeah, so Virgo, listen, I think November is a month for you to just forget about everybody else and what they got going on and their problems and their dramas and all of that and focus on you and what it is you want for yourself because some of you, it's manifesting in November. Like you have a lot of energy here. You got two nines and then you got justice. So it's like there is some sort of abundance of energy, of material, of resources that is due to Virgo, especially with the magician coming out here. And I feel like as that's happening, you be very mindful and protective of yourself, Virgo, and other people that are wanting a piece of your pie that you worked for, okay? But um, I, I just, I don't know. I feel like you guys have some magic happening in uh, November, especially with that magician coming out. Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. All right, energy being offered to you. First ray of creation. Yep, Virgo, something is manifesting, something very good, a nice big change happening for you guys. And you know what? Maybe not everybody's on board for the change that you are desiring or that you are um, achieving or maybe Virgo you are just killing it and being a boss and unfortunately not everybody is happy for your success because they're miserable inside themselves so that's not your problem alright you're being given a lot of energy from your spirit guides for manifesting in November Virgo really keep that in mind you could achieve great things great things are just unfolding for some of you from past work that you've been doing all right, look at this, Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle rain Realms. So, Virgo, yep, your guides got you, okay? 
Your guides have got you. Anybody who is trying to be false with you, Virgo, uh-uh. You're going to feel it because your guides aren't going to let it happen. And this right here, the first ray of power, um, this is where, you know, Virgo, you may get a promotion and it's like now you are the superior to your past co-workers and not everybody can handle that. Not everybody's excited about that, right? Um, others of you, if you've had like some sort of ongoing like legal issue or case, it's almost like things just magically go in your favor. This is your own good karma, Virgo. And you have angels and your guides really protecting you and guiding you in November, like big time. Feels like a special time for Virgo. So let's pull another card. Look at that. Embrace change. What did I just say? Yes. I move easily and confidently through the changes in my life. Virgo, yes, there is some beautiful manifestation coming for you guys, and it's hot, okay? And um, either people want a piece of that pie, or not everybody's happy for you, but you stand strong, you be true in you, and don't let anybody get you down or steal your thunder or make you feel like what you have manifested for yourself is owed to them on any level because it's not, Virgo. It's not. Let nobody emotionally or mentally manipulate you or confuse you in November because what is coming to you, you have earned. You have worked for it, not them. And um, some of you, there's some big time changes coming, but it's positive, Virgo. It's positive. It's a little rough when we're changing and we're going through growing pains, but ultimately, Virgo, this is very positive outcome for you guys. So let's pull one final card. The Koala Spirit. Look at that. Spirit has a plan. Virgo, yes. Let things unfold as they will. People you thought were supposed to be on your side who are not, let them go because there's new people coming in, unexpected people coming in. The good that comes to you in November is yours and yours alone. You do not need to feel obligated to give or share to, with anybody, Virgo. It's yours. You've manifested this. And again, if there's been any sort of like ongoing issue, it's like it turns around like that and goes in your favor. Okay? I don't know how. I don't know why. I just know your guides are really protecting you along with the angels and spirit has a plan Virgo it's all gonna work out exactly as it's supposed to so Virgo those are your messages I am wishing you all the very best take care